A Signal Mountain man convicted of planning a terrorist attack on a New York mosque wants a lesser sentence. And now the sentencing is delayed while the judge considers other options. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Calvin Sneed. Now, he made that request by writing a letter to the judge. Stephanie Sanastasi joins us now to show us what that letter says. Stephanie. Latricia Kelvin, this right here is that letter. Robert Dogger wrote it almost two weeks ago. In it, he says he never tried to hurt anyone or burn any buildings in Islamburg, New York, despite a jury finding him guilty on all four counts. Guilty, 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 guilty. That's what Robert Doggart heard four times in federal court back in February. One of those convictions, planning a terrorist attack. Days after that decision, we interviewed Doggart's oldest daughter, Christy. It was just shock, just completely. And just con continuing to hear four different uh, verdicts. It was it was very, very hard. For the past three months, Doggart's been in federal custody. Now, through this letter, he's sharing his side of what happened. He says he lost confidence in the government and their ability to protect the nation from dangerous influences. Doggart writes that what he was hearing and reading led him to believe that one jihadist training camp in New York was planning an attack. During the trial, prosecutors said he stockpiled weapons and communicated with others about his plans to attack the Muslim community, something his daughter says she knew nothing about. I know he was always concerned about terrorism since 9-11. You know, that was a concern, but no, it never came up. In this letter, Doggart admits he said some hateful things towards others, but he also says that he did not try to hurt anyone or steal anything or burn any buildings. Still, leaders from the group in New York, Muslims of America, feel his charges are fair. I would like for him to be treated the same way in which others in this country have been treated when they are accused of committing some form or attempting to commit some form of domestic terrorism in this country. Doggart faces a maximum penalty of up to 10 years in prison for each of the four counts of conviction. Now with this letter, he's hoping to lessen that. The state has until June 9th to respond to Doggart's request. The sentencing hearing is scheduled for June